Shot. I'm executive director and founder of Knowledge as Power. We're a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Our mission is to help individuals become effective citizens in the lawmaking process, helping them track bills, communicate with legislators, view video, and we're relaunching for Washington State later this month and hopefully for Seattle early this spring. I was going to talk about how it's so important for all of us to be involved in the political process. Washington State has a $2.6 billion budget deficit that are really going to impact things that matter to us. But what I really wanted to talk about was world domination. <laughs> Why? Because I believe that individuals are incredibly powerful. I believe that you can dominate the political discussion and really any community, nation, or world that you choose to. My experience in politics tells me that individuals usually think that they can't make an impact. They're convinced that they have to be a part of a large organization to make an impact, and that's just not true. So what do you need for world domination? <laughs> um, it's not always money. It's not always intrinsic power. It's not who you know, though those things can help. Um, it's actually a set of tactics and resources that I like to call firepower. <laughs> and whether you're taking out a Death Star or a bad bill in your state legislature, there's a certain set of tools that a lot of successful advocates use. Um, and so what that is not, though, what I'm going to go over first, is a lot of tools that we already use. So in Gov2.0, we have a lot of online petitions um, we, they're kind of like the Jar Jar Binks of online political power. They're great in theory, but they don't really work out in practice. And why is that? Because they're not really well targeted. Um, they're making unclear asks that go to unclear people, um, well-meaning intention tweets about activism that don't actually reach the right recipient or aren't received well, and then commenting on blogs or stuff that aren't read by legislators. But the activist groups say, you have to do this or the world will implode. And I say, no, actually, there are things that you can be doing. And they say, no, you really have to sign our petition. And I say, screw them, because, <laughs> because it is not about their political power. It is about your political power. It's about what you can accomplish for your community, your family, your business, your nation. And it's not always about building their list or helping to fund them. So but they can be really useful at times, and I'll get to that. How do we define power? One, good targeting, solid tactics, ammunition, and consistency. For good targeting, really, that's about knowing who you're supposed to be talking to in politics. Talk to the people that you actually elect, your representatives, your senator, your governor. Don't talk to the person five states away. You're not a constituent of theirs, that's okay. Time your communications so they flow with the, pro the process. Use solid tactics, email, phone, in person. They are very cute tweets, they really are, but they aren't powerful. So nobody goes to war with an Ewok. Um, so use your phone, uh, email to be uh, communicating regularly. I'll go back to that. Ammunition, be succinct, two paragraphs is enough. Be experienced and knowledgeable. You don't have to advocate for everything. State how you're influential. You're an important person. State how, who is your community? Consistency, follow up. So don't just send off one letter to the House, your House member, and forget to communicate with your Senate member. Remember to follow up with the governor, work the process, and remember to vote. That's your check on the system to make sure that they're accountable to their votes. Use a basic advocacy headline. It's a simple standard for ensuring that your email floats up in the email management systems of legislators. Most use Outlook. So what you do is, in your subject headline, Cite your legislator's ID, the legislation ID number. All systems have one. Then you cite your position, pro, con, question, informational. And then you cite your zip code and your zip pin. What this enables legislators to do is quickly search through their emails. Instead of reading by time and date they came in, reading your communications as a narrative, as a story, as a part of a group. You can find an explainer on this at knowledgeaspower.org. Click on the blog. I'll also be tweeting this later tonight. Um, it's 
I'm happy to have you repurpose it and share it. You can find me at knowledgeaspower.org, where we're launching later this month, and we'd love to have you a part of the process and beta testing for us. You can also vote for us in Chase Giving Challenge, so we can win $25,000 and keep the system going in Seattle, or win a million dollars and spread out to five states at igniteforcap.com. I'd like to thank the Ford Foundation and Mobilize.org, who are um, starting funders, Seattle Web Group, who does our technology, and they are helping us launch this beautiful service to help you become an incredibly powerful citizen. Thanks so much, and have a good night, you guys. I appreciate it.